what are the points that um, you've had over the last couple of days that you feel might be of interest to people at home? Have you seen anything here or is there anything current or coming up that you want to mention in particular? Uh, what I'm very pleased here is to see that Samsung, the city of Samsung invests uh, good money in sports, also in judo, of course, being part of this, uh, of this uh, environment. I was very surprised outside of the hall. As you remember, last year we came here, it was just a nice venue in the middle of nothing. Yeah, dirt now, tracks you, around, if, yeah. If, exactly. Now, if you're going outside, there are four or five different other buildings, a stadium, so it shows that the power of sport here in Samsung has an important role, and then it shows also due to the, um, the fact that they have an Olympic judo center here in Samsung. Um, Samsung starts to become one of the judo cities, if I can call uh, on this way, so that means in the future will be the possibility to come a little bit earlier to the Grand Prix, to prepare here, or to stay after the Grand Prix, to with stay in Samsung, camp, yeah. and to stay with training camp. I noticed in, in the in the venue, I mean, this is a multi-purpose sports hall, you know, for thousands. But all of the pictures, and they look permanent, really, really big, beautiful color pictures, they're all of judo, all of them. If you walk around the corridors, they don't look as though they've just been stuck up for this weekend. You know, they look really permanent. Uh, we, we have been lucky uh, last year being the first. First, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> being the first uh, <laughs> event here and of course you know first event a nice event organized at, at the IGF uh, standard which also for our partners the Turkish Judo Federation the Turkish Sports Ministry um, um, they have been impressed about the level of the competition and uh, of course they got a lot of nice memories in form of pictures which are now outside fortunately it was Judo who <laughs> present this <laughs> and the, the mayor was here as well to open up from the governor of the region or something. That's because always the, nice the, when the you've got the that. Governor, actually, the governor of the region was here yesterday. And to be very honest, to get the governor of the region for the opening ceremony, he yeah. was staying to see a few yeah. fights. And then, uh, fortunately, in the first category, the awarding ceremony um, had been done by himself. One of the medalists being a Turkish, a Turkish. athlete. That's it's right, fantastic yeah. for judo. It's every time good when the domestic um, takes athletes a medal. takes a medal. Of course, we, we wish that everybody take a medal, but uh, when, when we see how many efforts have to be done to realize such a nice event, not just for us, the event is uh, for, for the judo community, for the people being home. Um, during Kibbilisi, I was also a spectator, uh, listen to you and uh, watching <laughs> from outside judo. And it is amazing what happens now. We can transfer, we can transport judo out of the competition venue to the individual persons in front of their uh, TV or laptop. Well, you spoke about the home nation taking medals. They're still in with a chance today in the under 73 kilo category. Hassan Van Leoglu lost out uh, in his semi final match to Rustam Orozov, but we will see him in the bronze medal match. So there's still a chance in there for the Turkish team to take a medal at the moment. We're watching the contest between Yarden Jerbi of Israel, the world number one and current world champion. She was trailing by Wazari, but uh, she's pulled back Wazari against Catherine Unterwurzach. We've got a minute and 20 odd left in that contest. I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, IJF Sport Director Daniel Laskow. We look forward to seeing you again soon, Daniel. Thank you much for the invitation and all the best home to everybody. Okay, thanks Thank very you. much. Daniel Lasca, they're off to carry out his additional duties, apart from popping in to say hello to us. Let's just finish off watching this one then. Just a little over a minute left to go. Both fighters have come up with nice big scores. Jimmy it is who is threatening now after that initial lead by Unterwurzacher. Sinigashi attempt blocked by Jerby. Almost bringing Montevuertzaka over for a score there. Half a minute left.
good fight here. Yes, that'll do! Thrown the world champion for a second score here. Huge left-sided effort from Katrin Unterwürzacher. And I'm sure that love had the Austrian fans at home. Just look. <laughs> look at Marco Spinkai. He's going crazy here. Great effort there. From Kathleen 